Hello my magical Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading from the 9th until the 15th of August. Um, guys, thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. Please continue to do so. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're so grateful to have you here. Um, please just make sure that you hit the subscribe and then the little notification button and you'll get first heads up when um, the, the readings come through into the channel. Okay guys, as always, please this is non-gender specific, so take the energies as they resonate. And more than that, guys, if you're not Cinderella, so if the reading doesn't feel like it fits for you this week, please just check your other, your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, um, to get a full picture of what's going on. And then finally, we have the links working in the description box below. So if you're wanting a private reading with me, please click on the, the different links. The, all the different types of readings I do are down there, as well as a, a link to my healing um, channel, as well as my website. Okay, guys, so let's get through. Um, guys, you got a, a bit of a weird, uh, kind of got a weird um, word, okay, for your, um, for your word for the week. Um, you got anonymous, like, and it was kind of like this weird energy around it. I did check a couple of times, um, and... I'm hearing that some of you are playing wallflower, like just hiding in the shadows and just not wanting to be seen, not wanting to shine your light. So guys, please, this week, um, step forward a bit, start showing your fire passion, your fire energy, um, and make sure that you are actually doing what you meant to be doing. Um, it, it really was a very strange energy for me to come through with, but Kelso is very, very clear on it. He's like, that is definitely the right one. So I'm just going to go with it. <clears throat> I am simply um, the, the the vessel, not the actual, um, I'm, the, I'm the instrument that communicates the, 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 the messages. God, it seems like I'm struggling to speak today. What's up with that nonsense? Okay, so um, my beautiful magical sages, I have pre-shuffled everything and we're going to just get a spirit animal for your reading today. So guides, guides, elementals, spirit animal for my magical sages. What do they need to know for this week? Okay, guys, you've got two that have come out. I'm absolutely loving these cards. I'm like a little bit obsessed. You have the spider spirit, okay? Make your dreams real. Understanding that when spiders do show up in our, <clears throat> our physical realm, it does mean that we are needing to create, okay? So we this is card is just identifying that you are capable of creating the life and the dreams that you want. Also bearing in mind that... Um, you are in a very powerful manifestation phase in another fire sign. So we've got the, the new moon in Leo. These will be going out on the 8th of the 8th. So it will be going out on the day of the new moon and on the Lion's Gate portal. Okay. So huge, huge energy around manifestation there. So just a reiteration to make you go, you know, work with it. And then porcupine spirit, beginner's mind. Okay. So I feel like there's a clearing out of what you thought you knew, what you perceive to be. Um, I feel like it's almost that they're not asking you to, to completely go back to the beginning in terms of intellect. I, I don't feel it's like that. I feel like this is more about, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, stripping away all of your preconceived ideas, all your illusions and going, okay, let's see what's coming. Let's see what I'm capable of. I'm hearing that for a lot of you, this comes in about conf. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kelso. This is a confidence thing. All right. Start believing that you are capable of doing this, but have the beginner mindset that strips you of your, um, your cycles and your programming that hold you back, your fears, letting go of all of that, showing yourself in your true authenticity, okay? Not playing small and not playing anonymous is what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's see what the week holds for our little Sergis. Guys, please make the most um, of the manifestation. It does run until the 12th, okay? It's just that the 8th is a very powerful portal, um, as it's, the sun is in direct alignment with Sirius, and Sirius is a star, but is seen as our spiritual sun, all right, so um, it's a very powerful portal for manifestation, but the energy of the portal carries on until the 12th of August, 
Okay, God's Guides Elementals. Right, what do my Sagis need to know? What do my Sagis need to know? Oh, I don't take flippers. Okay. God's got the metals. Okay. Sure, guys. <clears throat> All right, so, um, I can't lie here and say that this is the easiest of energies to be working through this week, but it's a good week for release. I do feel like this is going to be a big release for you. And that's what I'm saying to you with this, this porcupine spirit here. It does feel like you're stripping away all that no longer serves you. And it's a necessary feeling. It's a necessary process for you to go through in order to be where you want to be. Okay, so let's get started with your reading, guys. Your heart, the, the core energy of this is the king of pentacles. Okay. So this is telling me that at your core, what you are striving for is to be um, in a space of complete stability. Um, you know, you want to be seen for your worth. You want to be acknowledged for what you bring to the table. Now, this is not a necessarily an, an arrogance or an egotistical thing. For some of you, this may just be a case of um, feeling like you are not seen, feeling like you are just a nameless, anonymous kind of, of person in a situation, whether it be work, whether it be relationship, whatever it is. This very much feels like for a lot of you, you just don't seem to be seen at the moment for, for who you are and what you bring to the table. So I'm hearing Spirit say very clearly, this is about, um, this energy at the core of it is, this is what you're really wanting. This is what your soul is longing for, okay? So the heart of our matter is always about, you know, what our current energy state is. And this feels like there's a longing for this. Um, it feels like, you are wanting stability um, across the board, um, and you want to know that it can be self-generated stability as well. So that doesn't necessarily mean just financial stability. It can be that for some of you, you feel like, you know what, it's time, I need to get my shit together, and I need to make sure that I am in a place of self-love and self, um, self-worth self and independence before I try and move on to something else, whether it be a relationship or a new job. There's a very strong energy of this being where you are wanting to be and how you're wanting to be seen, okay? So crossing that energy, we have the Page of Swords, okay? Now, the Page of Swords... Um, Okay, I'm getting a bit of a different energy on this card. Mm. This card is about some people maybe spying with you on media or um, I kind of feel the energy around this card. I've never actually had this energy from this card before. But this kind of feels to me like you're doing the spying in the sense that, in the sense that it's not like you're stalking somebody per se, but I kind of feel like you are keeping your eye on the prize. And what I mean by that is, so you are examining, and I think it was, I think it was Leo had a similar energy around this, um, where you guys are actually just um, observing is the word I want to say, okay? Um, observing the people and the situations in your space. You are assessing where they're at, what they're doing, okay? And you are trying to see like, well, who's actually on my side? Who's there with me when I go to battle? Who is it that I can really depend upon and rely upon when I need it, okay? Who in my tribe is going to help me feel like that and be seen as that. I kind of feel that that's the energy that's going down around Sagittarius this week. And, you know, it's not a bad space to be. We all have to do relationship assessments um, 
at some point in time. So I'm not saying that you're creating harsh judgments on people or anything like that. But this is more about self-love, actually. It's about you sussing out who's in your tribe, where you're at in your space, and what's going down, okay? So that's the energy that's kind of bubbling up under this need for being seen as the king of pentacles, being seen in all of your... um your your beautiful self your, your authenticity you know you see yourself as someone who's completely stable and reliable and is always there for people for some of you this could just be about friends not actually stepping up for you when you need it but it could be so much more than that okay so please take this how it resonates with you right what is chasing you the ten of swords now this is um i'm, I'm hearing loudly and clearly that this is not about um, it coming at you. So it's not like you have trauma and drama coming at you. This is more about you releasing it, okay? So all of this stuff, bearing in mind that the swords are self-imposed mental conflicts, okay? The stuff that we tell ourselves, our programming, our cycles, this is all the mental stuff. What spirits are saying to you is that what's chasing you is the release of this. Okay, so I don't have reverse, I don't really read reversals, but energetically I will tell you what China, what spirits is wanting you to know. So, it, and technically, if I did reversals in the deck, unless I come out as a reversal randomly, um, this is what you would be facing, okay? So, I feel very much like it's about needing to release. Your soul is wanting you to release that. All of the stories you tell yourself, all of the things that other people may have um, activated in you, understanding that people trigger us for us to heal, all right? So I do feel like this is very much about what you are needing to let go of, the mental stuff. Now, again, we have the emperor, Aries energy, all right? This is what you are chasing. I mean, this is the epitome. This is like all four kings in one for me. This is like the, the, the ultimate um, space of leadership and power. And I, I don't mean like being power hungry, but self, you know, um, self-worth, power, um, logic, reasoning, planning. This is also about entrepreneurial energy. So if you're having to assess your situations, um, about wanting to go into a new business and you're wanting the financial stability of a new business. This is saying, this is this is acknowledging what you're wanting and going, you can go for it. Let go of all of the shit that you keep telling yourself. You're sitting in a space where you are, I, am I good enough? I can't, I'm not sure about this, okay? This could be you just having a look out there, scouting out, observing, seeing what else is out there, having the beginner mind going, okay, I need to do this, but I need to know how to do this, okay? In order for me to create my dreams over here, I need to go, all right, where am I starting at? Okay, so I know this feels a bit strange, but there are definitely two different energies running here. There's those that are really trying to chase their dreams and that are assessing um, in the grand scheme of things what they need to do and how they need to change to become the emperor, all right? And for me, when the emperor shows up and you are looking at doing your own business, it is a sign of success, okay? There is no energy that I'm channeling through that makes me believe in any which way, shape, or form that this is the energy of what you're chasing, okay? So just be aware of that. The other side of this, I feel like it's a personal thing where people are wanting to be seen and step into their power um, in their lives, just generally, in relationships and work in their lives. So that very, that very much that feeling of anonymous, not wanting to be there anymore. Right, so your spirits or source, their advice for you, what they're saying is, remember your worth. Queen of Wands, remember your passion, follow your heart, follow your passion, okay? Um, also for me, obviously, um, the Queens are kind of slightly more sensitive than the Kings. It's, it's, it, and it's not, I don't mean this in a, in, a, in a derogatory way, but the feminine energy is more of a nurturing energy, <clears throat> okay? So for me, when we're looking at the Queen of Wands, all right, we, she is kick-ass, man. This chick kicks ass and takes names, all right? Source is saying that's exactly what you need to do now to get to where you need to be. But make sure that in the process, you are nurturing yourself, that you are being kind to yourself, okay? That you are releasing what no longer serves you. Release your stories, okay? Release whatever it is that you need to release. Because the stories 
It's not other people that are keeping you anonymous. It's yourself. Okay. Very often it can be fears and all sorts of stuff. But this is about not playing small anymore. They're saying really and truly not playing small anymore. So just remember your worth. Remember your value. She's self-assured. She's independent. She goes for what she wants. And she's feisty as hell. Okay. Now, this is your message from your ancestors, the Nine of Wands. They're saying, why are you doing this? What the hell? Sleepless nights. Mental, mental torment. You got the nine and the ten of ones down here. Okay, so they're saying that whatever you are worrying about is not necessary. And I'm hearing loud and clear, not true. They are very often what we tell ourselves is a perception and it is not what is actually real. All right. So, guys, please let this go. Your, your answers are saying, and it's coming from them, and, and them saying to you, this is not worth your time and your energy. You're spending your energy on the wrong stuff. You should be spending your energy over here. Okay, remembering your worth, going after what you need. Energy spent on, on worry and, and um, lack of self-worth, and it's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to move you forward. You also can't create from spaces like this. So your answers are saying, let go, we've got you. Just take a deep breath. Okay, now, what action needs to be taken? Right, ten of wands, wounded warrior, well, yeah, wounded warrior. Okay, so they're acknowledging you've been through the battle, you've gone through it, but this is the time to let things down. Guys, two full-on tens, right? Yeah, okay. And this is very much about um, new cycles, new energy coming in. Okay, um, new beginnings, because at the end of the day, you know, you are, the minute you start letting go of these burdens, these self-imposed things that carry us, so for this is, this is mental stuff, and these are other burdens, these are burdens that we create, okay, um, sometimes, sometimes it can be burdens, sometimes it can be the fact that we're just exhausted and we're tired so the action here would be to actually take that time to recalibrate and rest all right but about all of it you need to put this down it needs to be left behind now um spirits are saying this is keeping you small it's keeping you trapped okay so how do we do this right the tower card second fire sign to get this card this is where the divine comes in, all right? So this is about being open to surprises and opportunities, having the courage, all right? Standing in your kick-ass power and going, screw it, I'm going to do it, okay? It makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me sweat a little bit. It makes me want to run and hide, but I'm going to step up, okay? Um, because I do feel like the universe is going to intervene here. <clears throat> and if you're not letting these down here, all right? The universe will come along and say, okay, well, hello there, little Sagittarius. We're just going to show you what needs to be done here, okay? And it doesn't necessarily mean, I don't feel like this is a devastating thing. I feel like this is more opportunity, okay? The yids here, we say this in this card, the yids are the hand of God coming down to earth to guide us and, and push us into where we need to be. So it can be surprises, it can be epiphanies, it can be anything, all right? You may find that going along, spying and just having that observer vibe about you, starting off with a beginner mind, you may find that you come across some really, really, really incredible epiphanies that then take you to this space and get you to where you need to be. Okay, so the, the universe does have your back. Yes, you've got to do some of the work, but the universe certainly does have your back. Okay, now the last card out is the seven of wands. Okay, now this is a very defensive energy. Um, you know, and I'm hearing that in a way, if you see how he's sitting here, you can almost feel it. He has guarded himself off to protect himself and to shut himself away. Okay. Um, he feels like he has to stand his ground alone and defend what is his, um, defend himself, defend his beliefs, his values. Spirits are saying, get through this, get into this space here, right? And there will be no need for defending anything. There will be absolutely no need for defending anything, okay? So for your outcome, if you can get into that space, which will then lead you to being here, which is where you really want to be, like this is really, you know, being seen. The emperor is not somebody that gets ignored in any which way, shape, or form, all right? You're not going to have to fight for what you want. You're not going to have to struggle to get attention. And I don't mean that in a needy, clingy way, 
all right? Um, if you feel like you need to message your partner 12 times a day between 8 and 9 in the morning, you might want to check yourself. But all I'm saying is, this is about actually being seen in the world for who you are, your authentic self. Spirits are saying, get all of this work done and your barriers will come down. But at the moment, all of this stuff here, right? This is keeping you behind here. It's keeping you in a state of defensiveness. So as soon as you start letting everything go, your barriers come down and you are then able to become... I mean, you've got two court cards and the emperor here. We've got three court cards with the page, but you end up becoming you. You step into your authenticity and your power. Okay, guys, this is a huge one. This is not time for you to play small. So, guys, I, I really hope that this has helped. I hope that it's given you a little bit of a rah-rah to go and kick ass and take names this week, Sagittarius. You're in the fire energy this week, strong, potent fire energy, Leo energy, which requires courage and bravery and strength. So I'm really hoping that this resonates with you. Please like, share, subscribe if it does. And Sag, I will catch you on the flip side. Sending you big loves. Mwah.